install this set of speakers on this car right here. It's a 96 Maxima. And I'm going to install it neatly. I'm going to install it really neat. You know, like how I plan on doing this. I bought these for 15 bucks, by the way, at the thrift store. So, and I'm going to replace some other aftermarket speakers. Well, they're not aftermarket, but I'm going to replace, well, yeah, they are aftermarket. See these speakers? I'm going to replace those with it. So what I plan on doing here, <coughs> I plan on like cutting this, like cutting this. Mm, I wonder if I could do that or not. So I wanted to try to cut this so that way it could fit the six by nines like that or something. If not, then I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get a custom board or something. I'll have to find a custom board. And this is like some other, and what I plan on doing too is I may have to use a jigsaw so I could cut it like that, like that to make room. I'm going to find out what I have to do. But evidently, this is one of those cars that doesn't have, that doesn't have the fold-up seats for the rear. And then didn't have a fold up seat for the rear so I have to actually really dig in here and you know these kind of cars are a real pain in the butt to do that to like I have to remove this seat first because typically it's in here you pull this you pull like a little thingy back here and we can loosen it and then there's another one down here and then the seat comes off. See, it's tip is this that, that I pulled. <coughs> That's how these seats typically come off. So I'm gonna put it aside. And then on this car, we have to um, remove this bolt here and the other one too. And I think we have to remove this. And there's a bolt right there. And another one down here on this car <coughs> that's this car so that way I could access it really easily and I almost forgot <coughs> on this seat there's another bolt right here there's one another and then two more <coughs> okay I removed all the bolts and I have six total six bolts I removed them all now I could just Dry the sheet off. There. <coughs> I got it off. <coughs> that way I could access this board here. And I'm going to see how I'm going to cut it. Well, <coughs> now to remove that board, I guess we have to, you know, like put, take these out, you know, like squeeze it and push them in everywhere, I guess. That way we could get the the back dash out. <laughs> well, <clears throat> well, evidently, evidently, you won't be able to take this off without a fight. So you will have to fight it to get it off. But anyway, see over here. Of course, I broke a little something, which I don't think is a big deal, because this part was holding it. This part right here was holding it on. And I bent it a little bit. So this speaker, I'm gonna try doing a project, which it looks like it's pretty easy to me anyway. So I'm gonna try something. <coughs> okay, now that I got it out, I'm gonna see how these six by nines will fit. And, uh, I'm going to cut on it. 
Yeah, it'll work. Yeah, it'll fit nicely. I just had to cut this with the jigsaw. <coughs> Well, you wanna be sure you mark it. So, you well, know, if we're able to, that is, you gotta mark it like, like this. You know, well, you know, kinda like mark it, like using this pen. But just mark it to where, where you're gonna cut the wood to here, not over here, or else the speaker won't be held in place better is this getting the putting the speaker exactly upside down and then just marking it like that with this pen while well, you're gonna make a mark but actually it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna see it anyway <clears throat> and then when we cut it with the jigsaw just be sure we cut it not at the line not at the line but just below the like just Right there where the line is at, but not at the line, but more like about maybe a quarter of an inch before the line. Let's see how it's going to be. Yeah, you know, the jigsaw does it really easily, so. Well, this wood is sort of thin, so. That's simply it, you know. Then we'll need a drill, too, for this job. So I could drill the holes and stuff like that. 